On November 27, 2025, a historic launch took place at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan as the Russian Soyuz MS-28 spacecraft lifted off, bound for the International Space Station ISS. On board the spacecraft were two Russian cosmonauts, Sergei Mikhaev and Alexei Serebriakov, alongside a NASA astronaut, Christopher Williams. The mission will see the three astronauts spend eight months in space as part of a continuing collaboration between Russia and the United States in space exploration. The launch marks the beginning of a crucial mission in the ongoing operation of the ISS. Despite current geopolitical challenges between the U.S. and Russia, space has remained one of the few areas of sustained cooperation. The Soyuz MS-28 mission reflects the commitment of both countries to international collaboration in space science and exploration. As the countdown began at the Baikonur Cosmodrome, officials prepared the Soyuz rocket for launch. Located in the Kazakh steppe, the Cosmodrome has long been a hub for space exploration, with numerous successful launches taking place from this site over the years. The Soyuz rocket itself, a reliable workhorse in space missions, is designed to carry crew members and cargo to low Earth orbit, with the ISS being one of its primary destinations. At 0021, the Soyuz MS-28 rocket ignited its engines, lifting off into the sky. The launch was witnessed by a crowd of space agency officials and members of the press, as well as the families of the astronauts on board. The journey into space was captured by cameras stationed at various points around the launch site. Tracking shots followed the rocket as it ascended, leaving a trail of smoke and fire behind it, symbolizing the immense power required to break free of Earth's gravity. On board the Soyuz MS-28 spacecraft, Russian cosmonauts Sergei Mikhaev and Alexei Serebriakov, as well as NASA astronaut Christopher Williams, are preparing for their upcoming mission on the ISS. Mikhaev and Serebriakov are experienced cosmonauts, with Mikhaev having previously spent time aboard the ISS. Christopher Williams, representing NASA, brings a wealth of experience in space exploration as well, having completed several missions under NASA's banner. This mission is particularly significant for several reasons. First, it continues the tradition of US-Russian cooperation in space, which dates back to the Apollo-Soyuz test project in 1972. The partnership between NASA and Roscosmos, the Russian space agency, has been a cornerstone of the ISS's operation since its launch in 1998. Soyuz spacecraft have played a critical role in ferrying astronauts to and from the space station, and this mission is no exception. The Soyuz MS-28 crew members will spend the next eight months aboard the ISS, where they will be part of a multinational team of astronauts conducting scientific experiments and maintaining the station. Their work will involve a wide range of tasks, from conducting biological and medical research to studying the effects of long-term space travel on the human body. The astronauts will also be responsible for maintaining the ISS's systems and conducting routine repairs as needed. The Soyuz MS-28 crew's time in space will also contribute to international cooperation in the field of space exploration. The ISS is a symbol of peaceful collaboration, with astronauts from multiple countries working together for the common goal of scientific discovery. The presence of a US astronaut alongside Russian cosmonauts on this mission underscores the importance of continued cooperation in space, despite any challenges that may arise on Earth. In addition to their scientific duties, the crew will also participate in various educational and outreach activities during their mission. These activities aim to engage the public in space exploration and inspire the next generation of scientists, engineers and astronauts. The crew's time aboard the ISS will be broadcasted to Earth, with updates and live feeds providing a glimpse into daily life aboard the space station. The launch of Soyuz MS-28 is also a reminder of the critical role that space stations like the ISS play in the future of human space exploration. The ISS serves as a testbed for technologies and techniques that will be used in future deep space missions, including those to the Moon and Mars. By conducting research in the microgravity environment of space, scientists are able to make discoveries that would be impossible on Earth. These discoveries will not only advance our understanding of space, but also have practical applications here on Earth in fields ranging from medicine to materials science. As the Soyuz MS-28 spacecraft makes its way to the ISS, it will join the current crew aboard the station, contributing to the ongoing research and work taking place there. The ISS remains one of the most significant accomplishments in human space exploration, and its operation relies on continued cooperation between space agencies from around the world. 
Following the launch, the Soyuz MS-28 spacecraft will travel for approximately two days before reaching the ISS. During this time, the crew will conduct various checks and prepare for their docking procedure. The docking process itself is a highly coordinated effort that requires precision and careful execution. Once the spacecraft arrives at the ISS, the crew will go through the standard procedures for docking and entering the station. Upon arrival, the Soyuz MS-28 crew will be greeted by the current astronauts aboard the ISS, who will assist with their acclimatization and integration into the ongoing research activities. The transition into life aboard the space station can be challenging, with astronauts needing to adjust to the microgravity environment and the confined space of the station. However, the experience of the Soyuz MS-28 crew members will make this transition smoother. The mission will also involve regular communication between the astronauts aboard the Soyuz MS-28 spacecraft and their counterparts on Earth. This communication will take place through a series of channels, including radio transmissions and video calls. These exchanges are an essential part of space missions, providing astronauts with support and guidance as they carry out their duties in space. While the focus of this mission is scientific research and maintenance of the ISS, the Soyuz MS-28 crew's journey is also a reminder of the challenges and risks associated with human space travel. Space missions, particularly long-duration missions like this one, require careful planning and execution. The astronauts are subject to the physical and psychological effects of space travel, including the impact of microgravity on the body, and the isolation that comes with living in space for extended periods of time. Despite these challenges, the crew aboard Soyuz MS-28 is well prepared for the task ahead. The astronauts have undergone extensive training in both technical and psychological aspects of space travel. They have also been involved in simulations and exercises designed to prepare them for the unique conditions of life aboard the ISS. As the mission progresses, the Soyuz MS-28 crew will continue to contribute to the broader goals of space exploration. Their work aboard the ISS will provide valuable data that will inform future missions to the Moon, Mars and beyond. The research conducted during their time in space will help pave the way for future generations of astronauts as humanity looks to expand its presence in the solar system. In closing, the successful launch of Soyuz MS-28 marks the beginning of another chapter in human space exploration. With two Russian cosmonauts and one US astronaut on board, the crew will spend eight months aboard the ISS, contributing to the ongoing scientific research and international collaboration that is essential for the future of space exploration. Their mission is a testament to the enduring spirit of cooperation in space and the continued commitment of both the United States and Russia to the peaceful exploration of space.